Hello, Alfredo. Hello, Abel. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hi, good evening. Can you listen to me? Alfredo, Abel. Uh, good morning, evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. And how are you? I'm fine. Hmm, it's very hot. Did I you went have rain. Ah, is it raining or is it going to rain? No, no, it's hot. I went out raining. Mm, okay, that's great. Uh, did you have a great day today? So, so. Uh, okay, that is nice. Uh, hello, Alfredo. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm good. I'm pretty good. What about you, teacher? How are you I'm doing this day? I'm excellent thing. So are you ready for the night class? Yes, sir. Mm, that is excellent. That's great. So let me ask you a question. Uh, have you finished the section number four last week? Have I did it. Ah, okay. I that did it. Excellent. I finished I finished the section number five, two, and I'm doing the, the final test. Mm, that is good to know. Very good. That is excellent. Congratulations then. So you have already finished almost the whole world right on the platform. That is great. Congratulations again. And what about you, Abel? Have you already completed the exercises on the platform? Sorry, teacher. This is me. I finished. Mm. You have finished? You have already finished all of the exercise? Yeah. Mm, that is great. And are you able to see the diploma? No. No, yet? I don't, no, no, I don't got it. This is uh -huh. a way. Maybe I don't remember about the date. This is uh, September 10th or September 16th. I don't remember. We are going to, we are going to finish this course the next Thursday. So I hope that during this week you will you can, right? You can see your diploma. Okay. Uh, congratulations. You have already finished every exercise there. I guess you are the first one in the class. Okay, guys, let's start with my class. In the last class, we were studying the present perfect, right? Uh, which is a kind of difficult thing when if we study it will learn the first participle of the verb it becomes easier right easier and easier every day so the present perfect it is used to talk about an action that started in the past and it is still in the in the present right and also we use the present perfect for repeated options things that we have done uh, many times many times that is the present perfect about and the structure is um the auxiliary have or has depending on the subject plus the past participle for of the everywhere okay so we are going to have a review of the structure of the present perfect and also we are going to study some words that we commonly use with this tense in, in today in today's class we are going to study the word never already and yet the last class we will study the word ever right and we use ever to talk about experiences let's see for example have you ever eaten pupusas then you say yes i have i have eaten pupusas many times or a lot of times So let me see. Ah, okay. That is a message for the whole group. Uh, hello, Aida Marisol. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? That's okay. That is great. Welcome to the class again. Thank you. Okay, let's start with this class. Then let me share with you the presentation for tonight. 
and then today is our class at 13 and we are starting tonight our last week right uh we are going to finish this in this course the next thursday so i hope that you finish section five in the final exam during this week please because before the last class you must write you must finish all your work on the platform that's imperative so please if you have some exercise there that you haven't finished you have the, this week right to finish so for tonight this is the topic present perfect with never already in yet so let's start with this. This is the lesson of this for tonight. In this session, you will learn how to use the present perfect with never already and yet. So let's go with this review first. Let's see. Um, let's see, no being to France. And I have three options for you. Has, is, or have. What is the word that I need to complete this? Has. Is it has? Yes, you're right. The answer is has. Let's say has no been to France. Let's see in the next one. You finish your homework. Do I need a has or have? Have. Okay, we need have, right? Have in this. Then number three, we never eat any Mexican food. And I have has and a half. Has and have. Have. Okay, the right answer is have. And finally, I have this. The children have the find, is finding, or have found the lost copy. What is the right answer? The children have found. Have found, they right? have found the lost copy. Then let's mark here. Um, Let's see. Here we go. You say number one is. Let's see. Has, right? This is the right answer. It has. Let's say has not been to France. Then we have the equation. You finish your homework. And then we need a have for this pronoun you. And we never eaten Mexican food. We have never eaten Mexican food. The children. The lost puppy have found children is plural, but the niños have found the lost puppy. Han encontrado el perrito perdido. Do you have any questions in this exercise? So just remember, right, with the third person, we use has. The, the, the third person is he, she, and also it. With the rest of pronouns, we use have. Question with that? No question. Then let's continue. No question, teacher. Ah, okay. Hello, Maria Magdalena. Hello. Nice to, Good evening. Nice, nice to hear you tonight. Good evening and welcome to the class. Thanks. Okay, then let me raise this. Okay. Okay, this is the equation that we were studying the last class. Have you ever ridden a bike? Then I asking you if you have had this experience before or not. So have you ever ridden a bike? ¿Alguna vez has montado en bicicleta? Yes, okay, then you say yes. Yes, I have ridden a bike. Or no, I haven't ridden a bike. Oh, the short answer, right? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. So, have you ever ridden a bike, Reina Marisol? We couldn't listen you. Can you repeat oh, that? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, uh -huh. I have. <laughs> oh, yes, you have. That is great. Uh, Abel, yes. have you ever ridden a bike? Yes, I have, or oh, yes, I have ever ridden a bike. Excellent answer. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Have you ever ridden a bike? 
Yes, I have ridden a bike. Okay, now let's send the question. Have you ever had an accident in a bike? Have you ever had an accident with a bike? Yes, I have many. Yes, I have. Okay, so yes, I have. Probably it was our first accident, right? Fell down from our bike. So let's see the second question here. Have you ever driven a car? Have you ever driven a car, Alfredo? Yes, teacher. I have always uh, driven a car. Have you ever driven a Toyota car? Yeah, actually, yes. Ah, that is yeah. great. What about a Ferrari car? Have you ever driven a Ferrari car? I have never done it before, but I would like. Okay. Just be careful. They are very fast, people say, it, right? I'm not pretty sure about that. And let's see, Maria Martinez, have you ever driven a car? Yes, teacher, I ever drive a car. Okay, thank you. Yes, I have driven a car. That's a great answer, thank you. And let's go to the next one, number three. Have you ever swam in the ocean, Ana Gabriela? Have you ever swam in the ocean? No, I haven't. I, I, I scare me. I oh, feel scared about ocean. You are scary about the ocean. Okay, that's great. I, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, yes, right, the ocean is a little bit dangerous, but if you do it well, you can swim. You can have fun, a little fun on the beach. And let me see. Maria, have you ever swam in the ocean? No, I haven't swam in the ocean. <laughs> okay, it must be a great experience, right? So have you ever been to Guatemala? Maria Martinez, have you ever been to Guatemala? ¿Alguna vez ha estado en Guatemala? Alfredo, have you ever been to Guatemala? No, I have never been to Guatemala. And Abel, have you ever been to Guatemala? Yes, I have. I have been to Antigua. Oh, Antigua, Guatemala. That is great. Is, yeah. is it a good place? Yes, it's a beautiful place. Wonderful. What can you do uh, there? I don't remember. I remember this is a um, twenty nineteen maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember before the COVID nineteen. Um. Okay. Okay. Was it a great experience? Yes. Is uh. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful it's place. A very interesting the place because this is the woman drive a motorcycle and she dress a long cheer a skirt or dresses use pants or trousers equal and this is a have the control in El Salvador, many people, uh, men, use motorcycle or drive motorcycle, and we have many accidents. Yes, you are right, right? That is unfortunately, right? But we can change that way. Yeah, we have to respect the, um, let's see, the rules, right? The traffic rules, and we are going to be okay. okay yeah, thank you. It's, it's, it's great. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. And let's go with number five. Have you ever climbed a volcano? Have you ever climbed a volcano? Uh, Aida Marisol, have you ever climbed a volcano? No, I haven't climbed a volcano. Not really. What about you, Maria Magdalena? Have you ever climbed a volcano? No, teacher, I have never climbed a volcano. Yeah, okay. We can do a trip, right? We can have a trip at the end of the course. We are going to find Santa Ana volcano. Is it okay? It will be pretty good, right? 
to have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> and then let's see, have you ever drunk wine? Uh, Alfredo, have you ever drunk wine? No, I have never drunk wine. And what about you, Ana Gabriela? Have you ever drunk wine? Yes, teacher. Ah, I okay. <laughs> what does it taste? Is it delicious? What? Sorry? Is it delicious? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. Now, let's see this one. Have you ever gone to Santa Ana? Have you ever visited this place? Los Ramos, have you ever gone to Santa Ana? Mm, que si voy a Santa Ana. ¿Alguna vez ha ido? Yes. Ah, Al yes. Congo. Yes, I have. Congo. I have. Ah, okay, that is great. Is it that a nice place? Uh, um, not a nice place. Uh, um, ¿Es este un bonito lugar? Um, oh, man. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, sí. let's go with the last one. The last question is, have you ever studied French? Have you ever studied French? In French. ¿Alguna vez ha estudiado francés? I don't know. Is it yes, I have studied French. Or no, I haven't studied French. I have studied French for five years. I have studied French for one month. So let's see, Abel, have you ever studied French? No, I haven't. But I okay. like it. Ah, okay. I learned some some words. Some words or phrases. Okay, that is very right, right. I know that English is very important and it is a beautiful language, but there are there are a lot of options, right? We can learn some other languages too. Let's see, French is very important, right? Uh, Chinese, Japanese. Uh, Chinese and Japanese they are a little bit difficult, but um, if you learn those languages, you will have uh, many doors open, right? And you will find many opportunities uh, because almost nobody speaks those languages here in our country. And also Portuguese, right? Portuguese, Brazil is a very important country too. And El Salvador made a lot of business with them. So that's why Portuguese is, let's see, a very nice language to learn. So. You can keep looking, right, for another language that you like instead of English, and you can study another language too. Right? And thank you so much for your answer. Now let's start with the class, and let's start with this word, never. And never means as no time before now, and it is the same as not. Now let's see, never eh, significa nunca, ¿verdad? Yo nunca he hecho eso. Eh, and also it means no, right? It's lo mismo que yo diga, I haven't, if I say I have never. Okay, it's the same meaning. It is a negative sentence too. So let's see, for example, this one, I have never visited Mexico. Or I can say I haven't visited Mexico. And that is the same meaning, right? I have never driven a car. Or I haven't driven a car. She has never cooked pasta. He has never visited the zoo. He has never visited the zoo. So as you can see, never means that I haven't done this activity before. Um, I have never painted my house. I have never visited uh, El Congo. I have never been in San Miguel. I have never uh, eaten. I have never eaten fish. Nunca he comido pescados. Nunca he hecho eso. No he tenido esa experiencia. Then, in this case, I use never. Any volunteer to help me reading this, for example, please? Who went? Who went? Excellent. Okay, me, teacher. Thank you so much, Abel. Let's do it, please. Okay. <clears throat> I never visit Mexico. 
Mm -hmm. I have never driven a car. He has never cooking pasta. He has never visited the zoo. And sí. I never eaten sushi. Oh, okay. I have never eaten sushi. That is great. Now it's all fun. Let's think about two things that you have never done. Piensa en dos cosas que nunca he hecho. And we are going to make the sentence. I have never. Yo nunca he. I have never. I will give you a minute for you to get ready. It's 8.21. So at 8.22 you are ready. Think about that. Two things that I have never done. Are you ready? Two things I have never done. Ready, teacher. Okay, that is excellent. So let me. Okay, uh, tell me some of your examples and I'm going to tie them here in this whiteboard. I am sharing with you a whiteboard in your kit. Let me see. Okay, anyone who wants to tell me? Tell me one of your examples, please. When you say, I have never. Anybody? Hi, hello. Can you listen I to me? Never. I'm going to Turkey. Uh, oh. Okay, let's try again. Abel, tell me, I have never. I have never cooked Turkey. Okay, I have never cooked Turkey. Okay, excellent. Any other sentence? I have never. Um, I have never been in a judge. In a judge. In a judge, this one. Uh, let's see. No judge. Can you spell that? Y a c h t. Why? A. Es como que se llama es. Oh, ¿Cómo se dice? Es crucero. No sé cómo es que se dice. O. Oh. Ah, okay. I have never Yate. been in a cruise. I have never been in a cruise. In a cruise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other one is yacht. 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 Okay, this is the other word. Okay, I have never been in a cruise. Would you like to be there? I would like, I would like to have that experience. And what about if this broken down in the middle of the ocean? What are you going <laughs> to do? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do at the moment. Okay. Just survive. <laughs> <laughs> just, just try to survive. Okay, that is great. <laughs> So anybody has a sentence, I have never cooked turkey, I have never been in a cruise, and the last one, I have never, tell me one of your sentences. I have never driven to Guatemala. Oh, I have never driven to Guatemala. That is great. Guatemala. I have never driven to Guatemala. Okay, that's great. Good sentences. Thank you so much for your help in this activity. Now, some of you tell me, some of you, one of you, somebody. Alfredo, choose one of your classmates, please. 
I'm sorry. Choose one of your classmates. Tell me the name of uh, one of your classmates. Um, Aida. Aida, okay. Tell me, Aida, two uh, little things that you have never done. I have never. I have never been to Brazil. Okay, I have never been to Brazil. Mm, I have never cooked. Okay, pizza vegetariana. Pizza vegetariana. Okay, vegetarian pizza. You have never cooked vegetarian pizza. Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, thank you. Very good sentence. Choose one of your classmates, please. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Who do you want to choose? Teacher. Yes. I have never been on Mexical. James. Oh, Jim, James. I have never been to. Um, me, mechanic, mechanic, mechanic chain. I have never been to a mechanic chain. Yes, is that your sentence? Can you say that in Spanish, Maria? Eh, sería yo nunca me he subido en juegos mecánicos. Mm, okay, I have never been in an amusement park. Really? Is that true? Are you afraid of them? Maria Martin, are you afraid of this game? En juegos mecánicos, como por ejemplo la Chicago y todo okay, eso. Ajá, uh -huh. the roller coaster. So, are you afraid of them? Or what is the reason? Ay, oh, me tengo miedo. <laughs> ah, you are afraid of them. Okay, I understand you, right? Uh, you feel terrible after being in one of these games. So, or, Aida, do you like this game, Flor? Maria Magdalena, you would like to go there to the amusement park and enjoy all the mechanics there? Yes, I do. Yeah? Yes. No, I'm not. No, not really. Maria yes. Magdalena is saying no. Yes, I say no. I prefer it. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been on the Takada? I can see it because I... I enjoy um see how many people enjoy that the uh, tagada too, but uh, I prefer uh, the other ones. <laughs> prefer mm, solo ver. You like to make fun of the people there on the tagada, right? Jumping everywhere there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is very cool. Uh, thank you so much, Maria Martinez, Maria Magdalena, for your sentences. And let's continue then. Thank you so much for your participation in this activity. Let's continue with this presentation. So that was never, right? Uh, on the things that we have never done. Cosas que nunca hemos hecho, experience that we don't have, experiences que no tenemos. So you say, I have never, she has never, they have never. We have never. Then let's move up. Let's move to the next. And the next word, it is already. So already refers to an action that has happened at, at a specific time before now. It suggests that there is no need for repetition. So it's something that we have already done. We had uh, already finished an activity. Ya hemos terminado. So it means ya. Okay, ya lo he hecho. Let's see this example. I have already done three glasses of soda. I have already drunk three glasses of soda. Uh, ya me he tomado tres vasos de soda. Parece que alguien le está ofreciendo más. I have already done three glasses of soda. Thank you. Ya me tomé tres. Entonces ya no puedo más. Let's see, I have already done my homework. Ya hice mi tarea. I have already done my homework. So 
it means that we have complete this, right? I've already done my homework. I've already done three glasses of soda. I have already cleaned the house. I have yeah. already made my bed. So can you tell me what uh, have you already done before this class? Que dijo, ay, esto lo voy a hacer antes de la clase. Si cuando termine, esto lo me acuesto. In the, I have already clean, I have already cooked, I have already ironed my cloth, ya planché mi ropa, I have already uh, brushed my shoes, ya limpié mis zapatos, I have already slept the kids, ya dormí a los niños, I have already studied for the exam, so... I have it ready. Okay, yeah, they say list. Okay, I, that is the meaning of this. And then let's go with the last word. And the last word for tonight is yet. Yet is just in negative statement and also in question. To me, no, in the period of time between before now and, and now. Right? So, algo que ya debíamos de haber terminado, pero aún no lo hemos finalizado. That is the meaning of yet. Algo que teníamos un periodo de tiempo para hacerlo, pero no lo logramos. Dice, yes, todavía no lo he terminado. So, in the present, yes, yeah, is usually placed at the end of the sentence. Generalmente va al final de una oración. So, let's see, have you met Judy yet? Have you met Judy yet? Ya has conocido a Judy? Then, I haven't visited the gallery yet. One. Has he arrived yet? And finally, they haven't eaten yet. Has he arrived yet? It is supposed that he must be there, right? Se supone que ya debe de estar ahí esa persona. Entonces, has he arrived yet? Aún no llega. Todavía no ha venido. Uh, they haven't eaten yet. Ellos no han comido todavía. So that is the meaning of yet. Okay, do you have any question about using these two words? Never, already, and yet? Questions? No question until this moment. Is everything clear? So, so. Okay, that is great. If you don't have any question, let's solve the following exercise. Uh, which word do I need to complete this sentence? He has painted the house. So let's, let's see number one. He has painted the house. Already. It, it looks beautiful now. It looks beautiful now. Already? She has already painted the house? Yes, you are right. She has already painted the house. And he hasn't done his homework. Yet. He hasn't done his homework yet. Yet. Oh, okay, yet, because yet is the only one that is at the end of the sentence. So, yet. He hasn't done his homework yet. Let's see number three. Never. I have never been Italy. Okay, I have never been to Italy. Uh, there is a two missing there, right? I have already been to Italy. Ya he estado en Italia. What's number four? <laughs> they haven't eaten. They haven't eaten yet. Okay, nice. They have watched the movie three times. They have already watched uh, the movie three times. Excellent. They have already. And finally, we have lost money. That is all. Look. Let's go, Rocky. Yeah, we have already lost uh, money. You have never uh, lost money? Never. In this case, we never right? We have never lost money. We can also use already in this sentence. We have already lost money. 
Have you ever lost money? Yes. Yes, yeah. I have. How much? Mm. I lost money. Uh, around ten dollars. Oh, ten dollars. That hard. That hard. Anybody have you ever lost money? Flor Ramos, have you ever lost money? He perdido dinero. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, I have. I lost yes, I have. money. Ah, okay, and now the other part. Have you ever found money on the street or on the bus? Ana say yes. How much, Ana? When I was in, in school, around five dollars. <laughs> around five dollars. Okay, yeah. nice. Anybody? Have you ever found money? Not really. Yeah, teacher. I mean, it, it happened when I was a child. Uh, I was actually at the at the school. Uh, I don't know how, but I took the bus, and when I sat down, um, I found a wallet. I opened it, and it had uh, around one hundred dollars, I guess. And I also found the ID, um, and I just um, came home and I uh, shared what I found on the bus to my mother, and she said, uh, "We just need to." Um, we just need to uh we just need to call that person uh we just need to look for that person we just need to look for for the name of the person who looked at the wallet and we just need to uh uh we, we don't have to to steal this money and uh, actually i called the the police i don't remember and i gave them the wallet and they 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 well when I did that, uh, they said to me that they found the person who uh, lost the wallet and they gave uh, gave it to him. It was actually a boy, a okay. little boy. Okay, uh, so that was a good action, right? That was a good uh, honesty lesson from your mom. You must appreciate that, right? Okay. I'm sorry for you, right? You couldn't enjoy those one hundred dollars, <laughs> but you did the right thing right there. So that is excellent. Thank you so much for sharing with us that story. And let's move up to the exercise. So now we are going to put in practice these phrases and how to use them in a conversation. So look at this conversation number one. Have you ever been to Europe? Yes, I have many times. Where have you been? I have been to France, Spain, and Italy. Have you been to England? No, I haven't been there yet. No, I haven't been there yet. So, question, new vocabulary in this small conversation. No, not really. Okay, let me read that again for you. Have you ever been to Europe? Yes, I have uh, many times. Where have you been? I have been to France, Spain, and Italy. Have you been to England? No, I haven't been there yet. Can somebody take a screenshot, please, and send it to a subgroup? We are going to need it later. Can somebody do that? Take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group, please. Who wants to do that? Nobody, then take a screenshot there on your computer or on your smartphone there because we're going to need it to practice. I took a picture, I did send it already in the group. Oh, thank you so much. Then let's go with conversation number two. Here is the second conversation. Have you ever eaten Japanese food? I have. I have eaten lots of lots of Japanese food. What food have you eaten? 
I have eaten sushi, ramen, and yakisoba. Have you tried natto? No, I haven't, but I have heard it's disgusting. Do you know what is sushi? Do you know what is sushi? Yeah, is it delicious? Yes, I do. Is it delicious? I don't know. Yes. I never, I never had tasted. Okay, you have never had tasted sushi. And what about ramen? Do you know what is ramen? Yes. <coughs> yes. Ah, okay. I just saw this in a Naruto, mm -hmm. like anime. And that character uh, likes to eat ramen a lot. Mm -hmm. In yakisoba, no idea what is it, right? But it seems that it is a Japanese food. So well, it is delicious, right? So have you tried natto? And say, no. no, I haven't. But I no, have I heard haven't. it's disgusting. Okay, I can see that Ana Gabriela likes a lot of Japanese food. Yes. <laughs> yes? Okay, that is great. Uh, can you please again say a screenshot of this conversation? Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? No question? Then let's move on to the third conversation here. I have another small conversation for you tonight in this, this one. Have you seen the new Fast and Furious movie? Yes, I have seen them all. How many movies uh, there are? How many Fast and Furious <laughs> movies are there? Aren't you fan of Fast and Furious movies? No, you are in fun? No, I haven't. Uh, okay, but Fast and Furious is a very uh, popular movie, right? And say, so, yes, I have seen them all. Have you seen all the Star Wars movies? What about Star Wars? Do you like Star Wars movies? I... No, nobody in the class likes Star Wars. I must greet in here Spider Man. Do you like Spider Man? Or Batman? Not really? Batman, yes. Ah, okay. Uh, let's go again to this conversation. Have you seen the new Fast and Furious movie? Yes, I have seen them all. Have you seen all the Star Wars movies? No, I haven't. Have you? Yes, I have seen them all except the last, latest one. Oh, I have seen that one. It's good. So now, can you please take the last picture in this conversation? And then we are going to go with our classmate and we are going to practice in the breakup rooms, right? I will give you 10 minutes for you to practice with your classmate. So the pictures are on the WhatsApp group. Thank you so much, Alfredo, for your help doing that. I really appreciate your help in this activity. So we have one, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, let's divide the group. Okay, so in the first group we have Abel, Aida, Marisol, and Maria Martinez. In the second group we have Alfredo and Flor. In the third group we have Joanna Maria and Anna Gabriela. Um, Joanna, can you listen to me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. You are going to practice with Anna Gabriela. Okay. Uh, here we go. So what you have to do is to practice these three conversations. Ten roles, right? Eh, cambian del rol, but that cambian, cambian del rol and practice this question and answer using the present perfect. Okay. Is it clear what you are going to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, here we go. I will give you 10 minutes for you to complete this and I'm not going to visit you in your small break of room.
Yes. Okay, we are going to start with conversation number two. I going to be a am man. Have you ever eaten Japanese food? I have. I have eaten lots of Japanese food. What food have you been? No, sorry, sorry. What food have you eaten? I have eaten sushi, ramen, and yaki soba. Have you tried natto? No, I haven't. But I have heard it this goose. Okay. Ahora cambiamos. Yes. Have you ever eaten Japanese food? I have. I have eaten lots of Japanese food. What food have you eaten? I've eaten sushi ramen in Teacher. Tenemos una situación, teacher. We got a big problem. Hello, Alfredo. Tell me what is your problem. She's not on the chat group. Oh, really, Flor? No, yo solo me di un ir y no. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, let's give me a second. Right. I'm going to send you the link for the group in a moment. Okay, Flor Ramos, can you, can you enter the group? That is the the link for the group. Could you join to the group? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to resend the picture. No, so we're going to wait. Well, if not, no problem. I'm going to share with you the screen and you can practice. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sí, porque me da descargar, pero no sé. I guess you just click on the link and then you're going to be there. Mm. It is going to ask you if you want to join to the group and you click on okay and you are in. Not really? No. It doesn't work. Okay, okay, okay. Let me share with you then the screen and we're going to practice in this moment. Okay, this is conversation number one. So at this time, Alfredo, you are uh, the man and you're the woman, Flor. Con Alfredo. So Alfredo is going to start. Yes, have you ever been to Europe? Yes, I am many times. Uh, were you, where, where have you been? I have been to France, Spain, and um, Italy. Have you been to England? No, I have not been there yet. 
Ok, thank you. That was excellent. Yeah, the following word: Spain, France, Spain, Italy. France, In... Spain, Italy. Spain, Spain. Spain. Spain, yes. Spain. In... Spain. No, I haven't been there yet. Been there yet. Excellent. Now, yes. ahora, yes. let's change the role. Now you are going to start, Flor. Have you ever been to Europe? Yes, I have many times. Where have you been? I have been to France, Spain, and Italy. Have you, you been to England? No, I haven't been there yet. Oh, that was the most perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, they were Europe. Have you ever been to Europe? Europe. Okay, thank you so much. Good. Let's move to the second conversation. And here is the second conversation. Alfredo, can you please start? Sure. Have you ever eaten Japanese food? I have. I have uh, eaten a lot of Japanese food. What food have you eaten? I ha I have um, eaten sushi, ramen, and yaki soba. Have you tried NATO? No, I have not, but Liv heard it's Dutch, Dutch, did you did Thank you, very good. Right, so can you repeat the following word with me? Japanese. 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 And the other one is disgusting. Disgusting. De... Disgusting. Disgusting. De... No, no, just uh... <laughs> disgusting. 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 This have kid. Have kid. Ah, we need to practice this word. A little bit difficult for you, Flor, but then don't worry. Okay, uh, so disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, um, now let's go with the last one. Disgusting. Let's go with the last one. Okay, so um, have you seen the new Fast and Furious movie? Yes, I have seen them all. Have you seen all the Star Wars movie? No, I have not. Have you? Yes, I have uh, seen them all except the last, the latest one. Oh, we've seen that one is good. Okay, much better now. Thank you so much. Just this contraction. Eh, cuando está contractado es I've I've I've, I've seen I've, that one no. I've seen that one I've is the pronunciation I've, I've, I've. con una V I've. 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 I've ok, thank you so much for your practice, thank you you did a great job in this eh, see you in a minute with the rest of your classmates, thank you so much Teacher, I have a question before I let you go. Uh, tell me, what is your question, Alfredo? Yeah, it is on the it's on the platform. Mm -hmm. It is about the point four, Eight. four point six knowledge uh, checks. That is the first one. The instruction says write the question to match the sentence, and the answer from the sentence says my brother is twenty six years old. So obviously the question has to be how old is he? But when I hit uh send, it, it gave me I put the wrong uh the wrong answer. Okay, uh let me come back with the rest of the group and then we're going to see what is the problem in that exercise. Is it okay? And then we got another one. Let's see which one it is. Hello, Anna. Hello, Joanna. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. 
Yes. How was your practice? Did you enjoy it? Yes, teacher. And do you have any question? Any difficult words to pronounce there? Yes. Which one? Mm. Hello, Flor. Hello, Alfredo. Welcome again. Yeah. There are two who are still in the breakup room. Or they leave the meeting. I'm not pretty sure. Okay, Alfredo, can you please tell me again what was the number of the exercise in which you had troubles? Yeah, it was the it was the exercise 4.6 uh, knowledge uh, check instruction. Basically, it says uh, write the write the questions to match this statement, and um, the answer from the question is my brother is 26 years old. Obviously the question has to be how old is he? But when I I add, when I write it down uh, and send and hit send, it gave me an error. It said I choose uh, the, wrong, the wrong answer. Is it this the exercise? Yes. In the first one here? Yeah, how old is he? Then write the question to my this statement. My brother is 26 years old. How old is it's how old okay. is your brother? All right. I did it. I did it that way too, and it gave me an error. Uh, it seems that it is working now. So how old is your brother? Can you try it in this way? On it now. Did you write the question mark? Hey teacher, I had a problem with this. I don't like it, the platform because this is a, had the errors. Uh, some questions, some sentence start with capital letter, and the answer is uh, no capital letter. Or oh, this is a lost one letter or other symbol or character, and we have the problems. Oh, thank you so much for your comment, right? I'm going to write right to my boss, and probably he's going to do something to solve this issue on the platform. And yes, you're right. I have already noticed a certain mistake here, but uh, we can fix this, right? Don't worry. We're going to check it, all of them, and we're going to fix it. Thank you so much for your comment. So did it work, Alfredo? Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Do you have problems with another exercise? Uh, the second one is the... Four, eight. Yeah, that's right. 4.8 in this one. And yeah. the listening part. Yeah, we just need to put the correct answer, but we need to we need to listen to the conversation. And in the conversation, um she she mentioned uh that he has dark brown hair and a mustache, and he's about 30. But when I put mustache, uh, and hit send, it gave me an error. And which number is the equation? Sorry, can you tell me? It's the, the first one. Uh, I the think one. Brian. I think Brian is good looking. Mm -hmm. uh, he is pretty, pretty tall. tall. He has down brown hair in a Most of you. And let's try the mouse touch. Okay, and let's try the other option. Mouse. Mouse touch. Okay, this is the answer. Mouse touch. Okay. That's the answer. 
Do you have any other question? No, everything is fine. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, that's great. Um, thank you so much for your question, guys, and thank you for your participation too. So I hope that you have a great class tonight and have a have a good night, right? See you tomorrow. And this is our last week of classes uh, on this course, right? So please don't forget about the platform exercises. You must finish then after the last class. And the last class is next Thursday. So please keep working on that. And thank you again. It was nice to be with you tonight. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Good night. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.